As a result of their canopy, the ground beneath these trees can sometimes appear lifeless, dark, and barren. This is because it's difficult for some plants to flourish in those conditions. However, there are many plants that prefer to grow in the shade provided by a tree canopy. With the help of professionals, we selected some of our favorites for you to check out. If you want to liven up your yard with some of the greatest plants for shade, then you should keep watching this video. Number 1. Japanese Spurge Japanese Spurge, or Pachysandra terminalis, is a hardy small plant that does quite well in shaded areas. It spreads slowly and is evergreen and variegated. The Japanese Spurge, with its lighter-edged leaves, is a great plant for brightening up shady places. It spreads out slowly to make a thick, verdant carpet that is both weed-suppressing and visually pleasing. Plants that thrive in partial shade are ideal for low-maintenance gardens like these. Hardy in Zone 4 to 8. Number 2. Lesser Periwinkle. This purple flower may be small, but it packs just as much of a punch as its larger counterpart. It thrives in dappled shade and forms a dense mat quickly under tree canopies. It has flowers in the middle of spring through the beginning of fall, but its evergreen leaves provide year-round color and design possibilities. Additionally, white-flowered variations exist. The hardiness range for the lesser periwinkle is from Zone 4 to Zone 9. Number 3. Ferns. The best plants to grow under trees are often ferns. When their fronds open, they evoke the lush, jungle atmosphere with their vibrant green tones and textured shapes. Find ferns that can withstand dry shade and plant them in the space under your trees. It grows to a maximum height of about 50 centimeter and features leathery, evergreen leaves. It can survive in the dry, shaded conditions beneath a tree, but you should still mulch it every year. Suitable for growing zones four through eight. Number four, wood anemones. When selecting the best plants to place beneath trees, there are a select few spring bulbs to consider. White Splendor, or Anemone Blanda, is one such example. Delicate spring flowers give a garden a touch of the woods, and they thrive in partially shaded areas with well-drained soil. The white daisy flowers of these look great when planted below deciduous trees in spring. The hardiness zone range for wood anemones is 3 to 8. Number 5. Mahonia. The bright yellow flowers of Mahonia aguifolium contrast beautifully with the dark, glossy, evergreen leaves of this plant. If you're used to the larger Mahonias, this one will seem quite diminutive. The flowers appear in the spring, and later the plant produces berries that are both attractive and tasty to birds because of their blue-black coloration. When it comes to the best plants under trees, we agree that this shrub is one of the best as long as it is given plenty of mulch each year and is given consistent watering during dry spells. The plant thrives in partial shade to full sun and can be grown all the way from USDA hardiness zone 6 to 9. Number 6. Snowdrops. When little else is in bloom in early spring, we look forward to the arrival of snowdrops as a welcome sign of what is to come. They thrive in dappled shade and look especially pretty when planted in soft drifts at a tree's base. Moisten the soil to promote naturalization over time. The average height of these plants is about 20 centimeter, but the giant variety can get up to 30 centimeter. Snowdrops aren't just the top choice for best plants under trees. They also look great when grown in containers. Zone three to seven hardy snowdrops. Number seven, hostas. The varied colors of the foliage on these stunning perennials are a major selling point. In the summer, many species will send up stems covered in silvery mauve flowers. There is a wide range of sizes available. Some hostas are even small enough to grow in containers. 
As a rule, they do best in rich, moist soil. Choose thicker leafed, waxier varieties if the soil beneath your tree tends to dry out easily. Always remember to mulch your plants each year and give them plenty of water during dry spells no matter where you decide to plant them. USDA hardiness zones 3 through 8 are optimal for growing hostas. Well, thanks for watching video from Catchy Garden. Don't forget to click like and subscribe button to always support our channel. You can also turn on the notification bell to get the latest videos from us. We'll see you in the next videos.